Festival. Uh, if you were here with us last night, thanks for coming back. Uh, we've had a fabulous day of workshops um, with some incredible instructors, and we're really happy to have um, them back this evening for a concert. So, for those who of you who just happened to stumble upon this, Old Time Central is a community, and it's a community resource for old time music. We're uh, constantly sharing and posting workshops, articles, interviews. Um, and concerts like we have tonight to help bring together the old time community all across the globe. Uh, we are a nonprofit 501c3 and we're completely donor supported. So uh, if you love what we're doing like we do, then please uh, consider making a donation to help us continue doing concerts like we're sharing tonight. Now I'd like to, uh, oh, by the way, I'm Dakota Carper. I'm your MC for tonight. I'm on the board at the uh, at Old Time Central, as well as running um, an Old Time and Roots Music School in Cape and Bridge, West Virginia. Now I'd like to introduce our first performer for the evening. Uh, he's coming to us all the way from Berlin, Germany. So let me welcome to the stage, Craig Udelman. Hi, Craig, how are you tonight? Good, how you doing? Good, good. What time is it there now? Uh, I think it's about 2.07, it says on the wall there. Wow, wow. Yeah, cool. it's a bit late. Luckily, I've, uh, we just moved into a friend's place for a bit, and he's got this little isolation recording booth, so I can play here and the neighbors don't mind. <laughs> it's just a little <laughs> bit hot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Craig, you're a little bit quiet right now. I don't know if you can bring oh. that up so yeah. we can hear you nice and, nice and clear mm -hmm. uh, for your show. Um, so I was reading a little bit on your bio just to just for folks to get to know you a little bit. I have a, a question for you. So in your bio, it says that one of the things that uh, drew you to music, to folk music, um, was uh, studying the functionality of music in its culture. So right now we're in this topsy-turvy kind of world. Everything's going on with COVID. What kind of impacts do you see that um, having on folk music, this music you're sharing? Hmm. Or uh, vice versa. How is music <laughs> affecting our culture right now? Right. Well, yeah, that, that's getting right to the deep deepness of it. Um, I don't know. I think in a lot of different ways. Um, I mean, I guess specifically with the COVID stuff, for me, actually, these days, I'm, I'm a little bit more involved in, in the klezmer uh, and Yiddish music scene. Um, it's just kind of what I've been really digging into the last, the last year or two. Um, 
and it feels like there's like a lot of space kind of for, for some deep work. And there I've seen just a ton of sharing of resources in a way that actually doesn't even, is not really able to happen usually. Just because everybody's stuck inside and around their computers. So we've been able to have all sorts of conversations, um, you know, in chat groups. And like I've been hosting these listening sessions where we just listen to old fiddle recordings and, you know, have kind of open ended conversations about the style and the context and everything else like that. So there's, so there's definitely something that's really special about it because, you know, usually we're all teaching at these different festivals and workshops, but you can't have everybody at any festival. So you don't get all those perspectives at one time. Um, so that's definitely something interesting that's been happening. Um, you know, there's a whole lot of other stuff going on, which, which is, which is all pretty, uh, important and interesting. And it's sort of, I think for a lot of us makes it maybe a bit hard to figure out how to balance kind of all of our interests and like, how does this all fit into the greater thing? Um, you know, but I always think like anytime you're engaging with culture in, in like a, an honest and reflective way, it's going to teach you things about yourself and about the world, you know, and then you're going to see some some things that that mirror your values and some things that don't, uh, you know, but that that kind of shows you something about about who you are, or who we were or, you know, where we're going and, and all those kinds of things. Um, so it's been great to see just a lot of good work done in, in, in that respect, uh, especially by everybody here in this concert. Awesome. That's great. And that's a lot yeah. of good deep thinking at two in the morning, too. So. I know. We could talk about that for half an hour, but it's only a 20 minute set, right? So, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to get out of your way then. Uh, we'll give it up, everybody, virtually for Craig Udelman. Thank you so much. I'm going to just press this button on the computer screen so that I can see things. Um, yeah, great. Uh, cool. Well, yeah, I'm Craig Udelman. Here we are. You're in my little studio in Prenzlauerberg in Berlin. Uh, I'm going to take these things off. Maybe um, if, if that audio is funny, then just give me a sign. I've been sort of hard at work here figuring out how to route everything. Uh, but as we don't have much time, I'm going to just play you a tune and then and we'll play you another one and maybe some more after that. Uh, I'm going to change the plan. Yeah, we'll start uh, with a good old tune from Dave Macon, the Dixie Dewdrop himself. Um, called Worthy of Estimation. Come to town the other night, called myself a perfect teacher. After talking the whole town down, everybody says I was a natural born nature. Worthy of estimation after long consideration of a great reputation as the best in the nation. Ain't no use to grieve and craft, you've got to live until you die. But if you take the suicide route, your soul is lost for the sweet by and by. Worthy of estimation after long consideration of a great reputation is the best in the nation.
That's it. Oh, thank you very much. It sure is nice to be playing music here at two in the morning. I'd say it's weird, but actually, you know, if we were at any of the festivals we're usually at and it was two in the morning, we'd probably be playing music. So uh, it's not that weird. Uh, well, hopefully that sound is okay. Let me know if, if we got a little too loud there. Um, so I thought I'd play y'all some, um, some tunes that have, you know, some particular meaning to me. Um, I used to do a bit more solo sets, and then it's been a while now that I haven't done at least a solo old time set. Um, so I thought I'd just pick out some ones that, that I liked and that connected to people in my life. Um, so I think I'll play you one now called Shady Grove. Yeah, uh, I went for the most obscure tunes in the book. Um, but actually, it's, it's a strange version that comes from uh, Wade Ward. And I've never really heard anybody play it on a fiddle, uh, which seemed like a great reason to uh, to find a, a version of doing it myself. Um, yeah, and uh, this was on a record called High Atmosphere, put out by by the great John Cohen. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a record full of great tunes. There's a few I actually even thinking about doing tonight. Um, and I had had a great privilege, just the great privilege of playing with John um, and my old band, the Dustbusters, for a few years there, and, and really, really learned a lot. So, uh, being that he he sadly passed away um, just about a year ago, I guess what is September, I think, uh, something 2019. So I thought we'd send this one out to him um, and to all of you. So here goes Wade Ward's Shady Grove. Nice version of that tune, isn't it? Sorry, it's a bit hot in here. I'm in this tiny booth in the summertime in Berlin. So, uh, be a little bit schwitzing, as we say. Uh, cool. Well, here goes another one. Um, we were talking about, you know, 
folklore and, uh, and culture in context. And this is one I think I learned totally out of context before I really sort of, before I wrote that bio, I guess, that you read. Um, but yeah, no, I think back when I was in college, maybe somehow I found uh, Jeff Todd Titan's book of Kentucky Fiddle Tunes and, you know, went through them and found this one. Eventually, I, you know, I listened to the recording and whatever and sort of learned more about the, everything. Uh, but I thought you'd play this as a little, little throwback. It's called The Big Mule. Um, and it's one I don't really hear enough, I think, uh, out there in the world. I'll just play you a couple rounds of it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to just, you know, pretend like you're clapping out there. Maybe you are. Who knows? Who cares? Um, I think I'll slow it down for you a little bit and, uh, and sing an old ballad. The, uh, I thought about playing you one on guitar, but in this hot room, the guitar is really out of tune. So we'll just stick with this fiddle and uh, play you one that uh, you might know called Pretty Sarah. Me and bears on my soul. 
It's a leaving light to learn my pretty sail. Oh, I wish I was a poet, could write a fine hand. I would write my love a letter, won't she long understand? And I'd send it by the waters where the islands overflow and think of my true love wherever I'd go oh I wish I was a turtle dove had wings and could fly this night to my love's house I would draw nigh and I'd lay through her windows for the first lights of the morn. Pretty Sarah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I think we have time for just, uh, I don't know, a couple more, something like that. Um, sorry, I'm gonna, you know, not giving you the most banter tonight, cause just sort of trying to get the music in there. But I think, I'm sure you'll have some really high quality banter coming up later. Um, got some, some great, a professional band tours. Um, thanks so much to all the folks at old time central for putting this whole thing together. It was great to, to go to sleep last night, watching the concert. I stayed up a little bit too late, but that's, you know, that's okay. That seems to be, seems to be the deal these days, staying up late, doing live streams. Yeah. So I'm going to play you one or two original tunes now. Um, I haven't recorded these. I don't think anyone's really heard them except for, um, well, this first one, my friend Michael Alpert, a wonderful singer, fiddler, guitarist, uh, accordionist, dancer, Yiddishist, yeah, and performer of all sorts of music. Um, we were, we got, ended up locked up with him because our tour got canceled during, during the beginning of this whole craziness. And um, we were out there in Scotland on the, in the coast in a tiny fishing village. And we ended up recording an album, hopefully, which will come out at some point. Um, and at one point, you know, we were trying out the mics or something. He's like, oh, we'll just play something. And so I started playing something. And then we're like, well, that sounded kind of good. So anyways, uh, we turned it into this tune. And hopefully you'll agree that it sounds good. Let's, let's uh, find out. And it's, uh, it's got the title Woolly Mint. Um, because there was, there's some mountain, uh, you know, hill up there called the Woolly Mint. Uh, and that just seemed like a great phrase. And also, to me, it kind of turned into Woolly Mint, which is what happens during quarantine you know i'm just getting woolly in in all sorts of ways so here it is uh a bit inspired by that scottish seaside <laughs> Thank you. 
that's it. Uh, I'm gonna keep it moving. I think I'm really running out of time here. Um, so I'm gonna play you one more original tune. Uh, this one is uh, it's a strange modal tune. I don't know that first bit of it. Tell me, maybe uh, somebody out there recognizes it from another tune. That's usually what happens, right? But as Roscoe Holcomb said, you know, folks didn't used to write tunes. They just kind of put them together. There's a little bit of the folk process for you. So this one, uh, we call it Snoring on Kettlestone in honor of my, my dear friend Rose Landred out there in Wales. Uh, it goes something like this. <laughs> so great well i can oh, tell thanks. you from all the comments that were happening on youtube people were definitely sitting at home clapping that was oh wonderful. good <laughs> yeah a lot of people very happy that you stayed up till 2 a.m to play for us tonight oh so. me too me too and uh all the ones that didn't get on the list uh, we, that's all right but glad you enjoyed those those tunes um Absolutely. Yeah, uh, I should just mention, if you do like uh, this music, I have a band called the Interstate Express, uh, and you can find us on you know, all those Facebooky things, and we'll have an album coming out in the fall with some pre-orders going live soon and videos and all that. So, uh, you know, check it in there. You can find me at Craig Udelman Music on, on the Facebook. Oh. And thank you so much, Dakota, for having me and everybody else for, for putting this all together. Oh, our pleasure. Thank you so much, Craig. And for those of you watching, if you want to uh, learn some more from Craig, he's going to be teaching a workshop tomorrow morning, Fiddle Rags and How to Play Them. That's going to be at 10 a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. We're not on German time tomorrow morning. So uh, 10 a.m. tomorrow, make sure and uh, catch his workshop and learn a couple of fiddle rags. Uh, if you're just tuning in, uh, this is Old Time Central's The Hoot, our first online music festival. Thank you for tuning in and watching. This is a program that we put together to help uh, bring our old time music community together. We want to make sure that um, even in this time of isolation, that we know that we're all in this together. So uh, please, if you uh, like what you're hearing and you want to leave a tip, our uh, tip jar is in the comments below this YouTube video, or you can just go to paypal.me slash old time central. Uh, we are a nonprofit 501c3. So all of your donations are tax deductible and they will go towards uh, promoting more events like this to get old time music into your hands. Now I'd like to introduce our next group coming up, coming from uh, Lawrence, Kansas, Howard Rains and Trisha Spencer. Welcome to Old Time Central. Just a moment, there they're coming up. Go. Hey, there Hi. you are. Hi. <laughs> 
Hey guys, how you doing tonight? We're great. doing great. great. Great, awesome. Well, I won't be long-winded because we want to hear your music, but uh, just as a quick intro for people to get to know you. Now, anybody that knows you at all knows you're phenomenal, phenomenal musicians, phenomenal teachers, but they may not know you're also incredible visual artists. So my question for you tonight is how is that balancing these two worlds where uh, the audio is, is king, what you're hearing? in one one side and then the visual what you're seeing is king how do those connect for you uh for for me they're inseparable they're just you know part of two streams that go into the same river basically so they're, they're the same thing i don't know i don't know how else to describe it except that it's all just uh just creative output that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. What about I you, feel Trisha? Like it, well, I just, I, I just feel like to be precise, it's just we're artists, no matter what medium. So it's just that's just what we do: cooking, cleaning, uh, visual art, gardening, gardening. It's just, uh, uh, yeah, that's just what we do. We just do it. That's awesome. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna get out of the way so you can be artists for our audience tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank for having you. Us. Thanks, Dakota. Yeah. Yeah, I, I have no idea if people can see us now, but uh, it all looks weird to us on this end. We're going to do a song that we've been singing uh, before we met each other for many, many years. And then uh, when we did meet, we kept on singing it. And, and, well, we're still singing it for you here tonight. It's a song called Darling Corey. Wake up, wake up, darling Corey, what makes you sleep so sound? The highway robbers are coming, gonna tear your steel house down. Sleep so sound. The highway. Rock 
robbers are coming Gonna tear your steel house down Nobody's clapping, nothing. And you did a great job, dear. <laughs> yeah, I bet the kids are happy they're like having a break from all of this. <laughs> and so we hope that you all are enjoying it because I think they're tired of it all. <laughs> Let's see. Well, um, since Trisha was a very young girl, she would go to uh, old time fiddle contests around here in the middle Midwest and knew a lot of the great old time fiddlers, uh, such as her grandpa, and Pete McMahon and Cyril Sternett and Lyman Inlow, those folks. Um, but one of those fiddlers is also um, still with us and still fiddling, and that's Dwight Lamb. And, and he's served to be a huge influence on our music, and particularly in the past several years, as he's one of the just, he's just an encyclopedia of music. And we're gonna play a tune that comes from his uh, grandfather, uh, Chris Jarrup, who was from Denmark and moved over here to the United States and brought a bunch of his uh, Danish tunes with him. We're gonna uh, play one that a lot of them don't have titles. He just calls this one The Crooked Walls. Decided it only needed twice, but it felt like it could have done one more time. Sorry, yeah. that was my call. We could have done one more. Trying to keep them short because uh, we know the sets are a little bit short. One of the things that we've been doing a lot um, is we're kind of obsessed about actually, because you'll see that we're pulling the guitars back on, and that is um, doing a lot of double guitar stuff here lately. And maybe that's also because like the kids are all playing. Isaiah, he's going to. He's going to take over <laughs> for on us. On the fiddle. <laughs> on the fiddle. Uh -oh. One, two, three. Am I capo five? Is that right? Uh, you are capo, uh, yeah, I believe so. Okay. Um, Ruby's playing. Orion's playing. We have another additional family member, Riley. And uh, we missed the, the one that's far away, uh, Josie. But uh, they're all doing their part. Before you know it, Lillard and uh, Birdie will play something, too. That's the dog and the cat. Thank you. 
Well, we're going to do a song for you here uh, that I've known since I was very young. In fact, it's one of the first songs that I learned on the guitar. Um, and it's, uh, I have an uncle named Tucker Teich, and he uh, he's from Dumas, Texas. And so we used to always sing this song for him, uh, Ding Dong Daddy from Dumas. We're going to do a little bit of that for you here right now. See my stuff while Papa from Polecat Hollow won't get treated rough. If you want to see just what we got, we got good rhythm and we're swinging hot time. A ding dong, daddy from Dumas Bay, boy, you better see my stuff. See my stuff. Popcorn papa from the pan had a mama won't get treated rough. When me and T we get to town, if you set them up, we're gonna knock them down. I'm a ding a dong daddy from Dumas Bay. Boy, you better see my stuff. What we got, we got good rhythm and we're swinging hot time. A ding a dong a daddy from a Dumas Bay. Boy, you better see my stuff. Not really. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm still on this thing. Um, I think that's, is that the first official time that we've played it, kind of played it, played it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, it's fun times. All right. Well, just in case uh, people are wondering, looks like we have about two more, but this next one is so slow that it will seem like forever. We have a lot of time. We're doing great. So obsessed, we were ready to take one off because yeah. we were worried we would not be able to do this that's, on time. That's sort of the Kansas way, really, is to just uh, to to make room for others and uh, <laughs> you know, not not be the squeaky wheel. Make sure. Well, let's take a moment. Make sure I'm in tune. It's just that one string that is not my favorite. We had a lot of travel plans this year, including going back to visit the Library of Congress. And um, uh, we like to head over there. And uh, I got a brother that lives there in D.C. And we stay with him and, and go over and listen to recordings in the, at the Library of Congress. And we were over there a year or so ago, about a year and a half, and, um, and heard this wonderful recording from Shirley Mansell recorded back in the 1930s uh, over in Comanche, Texas. And it's a song that a lot of folks have sung before, but she had a special and unique way of approaching this particular song. And so we're gonna sing it the way Shirley sang it. We threw a few chords behind it. She sang it a cappella. It's called All the Pretty Horses. Hush you by, don't you 
When you wake, you shall have all the pretty little horses. Blacks and greys, dapples and bays, coach and six little horses. Hush you by and don't you cry, go to sleep little baby. Rest your head on clover In your dreams you shall ride All the pretty little horses Blacks and greys, dapples and bays Coach and six little horses Hush you by and don't you cry Go to sleep little baby job dear hmm. see look i told you like we almost gonna nail this oh yeah that was so long <laughs> <laughs> our songs are like little short punk rock songs that's what i love about them oh we got i'm still on guitar right right yeah sorry no no i no i love the guitar i, I mean I, I am after all oh, teaching yeah, a guitar backup guitar. workshop trish is doing grandma's cheats which is all kinds of little fiddle tricks to get you in the pocket in your next old time session. <laughs> well, speaking of getting in the pocket, here's one that Trisha learned from her grandpa, Vernon Spencer, who's from over in Big Springs, Tech, uh, Big Springs, Kansas, which is the next town over. Her family still lives over there on the same farm they've been on for 170 years or so. Um, still playing music out there too. It sounds like an exaggeration, but it's not really. It is not an exaggeration. It is the. Good job. That was like quick math on your part. Thank you. I'm impressed. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so we're looking forward to seeing people tomorrow. Uh, sure appreciate Old Time Central doing this, and it's been wonderful seeing people. I hope everyone's taken this time to learn something new, whether it be gardening, cooking, cleaning, sewing, uh, knitting. Um, just something that uh, makes us all better and trying not to think about what's really going on. That's true. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a crazy world out there, but this is a beautiful, wonderful, amazing time to, to focus on the things that uh, will enrich your life. So I know, I know that's what we're trying to do here every day. So we're going to play a little song for you, a little tune called Stone's Rag. Nice and groovy.
That's all we got for you, folks. Thanks so much for listening. I know there's a lot of great music coming up. Awesome. Howard, Trisha, thank you so much for being here with Old Time Central tonight. That was an incredible performance. Really a pleasure hearing you both. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Dakota. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so everyone, make sure that you tune in tomorrow to catch more of Howard and Trisha. Uh, let's see. Howard is going to be teaching Old Time Backup Guitar from 2 to 3.30 p.m., and Trisha will be teaching Grandma's Cheats for Old Time Fiddle. That's 6 to 7.30 p.m., uh, both of those are uh, Eastern Standard Time, so make sure and tune into those. If you just logged in and are just uh, joining us, you're watching The Hoot. Old Time Central is presenting its uh, first online music festival. Old Time Central is a community old time um, gathering and resource center where uh, you can um, log online to our website, oldtime-central.com, and see a uh, backtrack of all the articles and interviews and workshops and classes that um, we've offered and you can sign up for our newsletter there as well so that you can catch all of our upcoming events. Uh, tonight we are presenting um, four different acts of incredible teachers who are doing workshops this weekend so as well as hearing them tonight you can uh, jump into one of their classes. Um, if you're enjoying what you're watching, which there's no way you could watch this and not enjoy it, right? Um, then consider making a donation to Old Time Central. You can do so by going to paypal.me slash oldtimecentral. And uh, all of your donations are tax deduct deductible. We are a 501c3 nonprofit. And your donations will go directly to helping uh, produce and present more events like the Hoot. So... Uh, make sure if you are um, feeling so inclined that you uh, leave a tip for these musicians tonight. Now I'd like to introduce uh, the next musician performing tonight, coming to, to you from uh, Providence, Rhode Island, Jake Blunt. Welcome to Old Time Central. Hey, thanks for having me. Oh, our pleasure. So great to see you. Now, Jake, I think the first time I heard you playing was uh, last year at Clifftop, and you were doing your CD release party with your uh, duo, Tui. And I took that CD home and was just inspired all year round. Um, and I heard that you just came out with a new CD. Can you tell us yes, some about mm -hmm. that? Yeah, so my latest CD is called Spider Tales. It came out on Free Dirt Records and Service Company on May 29th. Uh, it features Nick Garris, Rachel Eddy, Hazel Denciaco, and Tatiana Hargraves. Uh, it was produced by Jeff Klaus and Judy Hyman, recorded at Joe Bass's place, Studio 808A. So it's definitely like a fun old time, uh, old time hang there. Uh, but yeah, it focuses on songs and tunes from Black and Native American musicians, predominantly in the Southeast, but not exclusively. That sounds awesome. Well, I'm going to have to pick up that CD. I have my inspiration for the next year. All right, I'll get out of the way and everybody give it up virtually for Jake Blunt. Thank you. 
back and forth a little bit so I can see what folks are saying. Uh, that was a song called I Wonder Where Is My Brother Gone from Annie Gracehorn Dodson. It's a song called Beyond This Wall from Judy Hyman of Ithaca, New York. That is one of the, the tunes that we recorded for my album, Spider Tales. Hmm. I don't know if y'all can hear the dirt bike people. There are a lot of dirt bike people in Providence and they drive loudly past my house <laughs> at all hours of the day and night. Here's one called Brown Skin Baby. Thank you. 
was called Brown Skin Baby. It comes from Jabe Dylan. He was from Mississippi. Learned it from a black fiddler by the name of Old Dennis. Could not tell you which old Dennis he was. Ugh. I got lucky last night. I was doing another live stream with a friend of mine, a great blues guitarist named Samuel James, and we were switching off tunes so I could open the window and turn on my fan in between my tunes. Ugh. Rust About from Dink Roberts of Haw River, North Carolina. Uh, those last two were also uh, songs from my album, Spider Tales. Hmm. <laughs> Dakota, I see we got a little extra time. Just let me know when I should be wrapping it up, okay? for another 10 minutes or so, Jake. You're sounding oh, great. Awesome, thank you. When 
and my blood runs chilly and cold. I have got to go. I have got to go. I have got to go. When my blood runs chilly and cold, I have got to go. Weighing me on the moon. Do Lord, do Lord, do remember me. Do Lord, do Lord, do remember me. Do Lord, do Lord, do remember me. Do Lord, remember me. Got a mother in the Beulah land, she's calling to me, she's calling to me, she's calling to me. Got a mother in the Beulah land, she's calling to me, way beyond the moon. Do Lord, do Lord, do remember me, do Lord, do Lord, do remember me. You can bear no crosses, you can wear no crown. You can bear no crosses, you can wear no crown. You can bear no crosses, you can wear no crown. Weigh me on the moon. The brighter your crown, the harder your crosses, the brighter your crown. The harder your crosses, the brighter your crown. Weigh me on the moon. Do Lord, do Lord, do remember me. Do Lord, do Lord, do remember me. Do Lord, do Lord. That's a song I learned um, out of uh, Alan and John Lomax compendium called American Folk Songs and Ballads, and they call it When My Blood Runs Chilly and Cold, which always struck me as like a, a really morbid title for a song that sweet. But I actually went down and I played it for my grandparents just while I was visiting them once, and they both started singing along just like automatically right away. And I was like, you know that song? And Pop-Up said, yeah, that's one of the old songs. It's called Do Remember Me. So I call it Do Remember Me. Considering it says, do remember me every five seconds and says the other thing only one time, seemed to make sense. play one more for you I guess it's called old timey gray eagle
Well, thank you to Old Time Central for having me be part of this event. I am excited to teach a little workshop on claw hammer banjo from Odell Thompson tomorrow. Uh, tune in for that. It's going to be a good time. Uh, thank you for, for checking the show out tonight. And thanks to Dakota and Richard and everybody at Old Time Central for putting this on. <laughs> so much for that awesome set man i could just get lost in that fiddle playing forever really awesome if anyone wants to find your new album spider tales where can they go to get that all the usual places it's on all the streaming platforms uh on all the the digital marketplaces it is most advantageous for me if you go to freedirt.net and buy it straight from my label or from bandcamp on one of their bandcamp fridays where all the proceeds go to the musicians so uh I would appreciate you checking out any of those that you were able to. Awesome. Well, I'll be doing that too. Thanks so much for joining us tonight, Jake. Great Thank having you, you here having on the me. show. Uh, thanks everyone for tuning in. Uh, if you enjoyed that, of course, make sure and check out uh, Jake's workshop tomorrow. He's going to be teaching, um, let's see, what is it? Banjo, uh, banjo style of uh, Odell Thompson. And that's going to be at... 4 to 5 30 p.m eastern standard time so uh, don't miss out on that if you happen to just be tuning in and catching the end of our show here um, you're listening to old time central presents the hoot our online music festival old time central is a uh, community based music gathering and resource space uh, where we're constantly sharing interviews workshops uh, music lessons and concerts like you're seeing tonight so uh, our goal is to just get old time music into your hands by bringing us all together. If you like our mission and you like what we're doing, consider making a donation. Our tip jar is in the comments below. You can go to paypal.me slash oldtimecentral. Any amount is appreciated and it will go to helping continue to put on events like this. Uh, now we have one more uh, act coming up tonight. We're really excited to have uh, these folks coming from the L.A. area of California. Uh, welcome to the stage, David Bragger and Susan Plath. 
Hi, welcome to Old Town Central. Hello! Hi! <laughs> Do you hear us? We can hear you, all yes. Right. We're so excited that you all are at the end because we know you're going to be energetic people and you're going to keep us all just awake and on our toes tonight. <laughs> we were doing the late night drowsy set, so I, I guess I guess we'll change the set list right now. <laughs> Great. Great. Now, um, we're, a lot of the folks listening are musicians, so one way that you can get to know a musician is by what kind of music they like. So my question for you all tonight is you're, on a strand, you're stranded on a desert island for the rest of your life, and you can only take one tune with you. What is that tune? Oh, what? oh you threw a curve in there. I was expecting one a different One tune? <laughs> oh one my tune. gosh. It, it would be, for me, it would probably be Dink Roberts playing the cuckoo. Ooh, that's a good tune. I'm going to say <laughs> Banks of the Arkansas um, that Bruce Green collected, and um, we actually recorded it. It's still my favorite, I think. In a oh. pinch. I, I, you're putting it on the spot, but <laughs> it's definitely in the top three. Should have should have given you a little warning on that. I mean, Oh, no, that's a great question. Every minute Best of eternity with one tune, you know. <laughs> awesome. Well, guys, thank you so much for being here tonight. I'm going to get out of the way and just give you your stage, so... Have at it. Thank you so much for being here on The Hoot tonight. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Here we go. This is from Mel Durham. He called it Going to the Free State, but I think some of you Mississippi tune lovers know it as Avalon Quickstep. <laughs> So that's a tune that uh, so that that uh, I learned from one of my my two main mentors, Mel Drum. And Mel's not with us any longer. He'd be in his hundreds right now. He was an Illinois fiddler uh, who relocated to Southern California, like so many great great old time musicians from all around the country. And uh, this next tune that we're gonna do is really interesting. And I got it from Mel as well, but Mel and his family got it from a man that they knew who was born in 1850, who was born enslaved, and his name was Alonzo James. And uh, Alonzo James family several tunes, and we we have a few of them. And uh, this particular tune. And uh, so they named it after him. So it's called Alonzo James. And uh, if you've ever heard Lady of the Lake by Melly Dunham, which I was lucky to get on 78 not too long ago, on a 78 RPM shellac record. Uh, Lady of the Lake sounds very, very similar. They are definitely relatives.
that is a cool sound you You're, have. If you want a copy of it, it's on the uh, big fancy oh, CD. Yes. Okay, next. Who's next? Oh, yeah. A very, a very special song, a song that many, many people play, and they've played <laughs> for a very long time, and you've heard it tonight, tonight. <laughs> by our very, very good friends, Howard and Trisha. And uh, our setting will be a bit different, m more based on uh, the playing of, of B.F. Shelton, um, but there'll be some very subtle twists and turns in the approach. And we got to hear Susan's darling voice. Thank you, David. Darling Cora. particular version from Scott Prouty. It was originally on the Knopf collection. It passed through Gary Harrison, who reset it. 
came through Scott Prouty when he was over here and I was recording him for his CD, DVD, Tiki Parlor set, Shaking Down the Acorns. And it just really, really was, was amazing. Um, an amazing experience, an amazing set. Scott's an amazing musician. And, and this tune really stood out and uh, we decided to try it as a double fiddle piece. So yet a slightly new setting. It's not what you think, it's not water. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> so, Alonzo Janes taught the, uh, the Durham family a tune called Over the Mountain. And it's a classic as far as I'm concerned, in, in my world. And, uh, Alonzo James, he was born in Tennessee, and he, uh, he moved up through Kentucky and settled in Illinois, raised a family, met the Durham family, they played music together, this is one of, this is one of the tunes that they did, and uh, there's a tune that's part of the Hamblin collection that has some somewhat of a resemblance to this tune over the mountain. So they were doing it in cross A tuning. A few years ago, one of my students, Cindy Richardson, a genealogist, tracked down descendants of Alonzo and put us in touch. And uh, I've gotten to know some of them over the years. And uh, I host I'm the artistic director of a festival in Santa Barbara, and it's 49th year this year. It'll be on October 11th. And uh, last year, we dedicated the festival stage to Alonzo Janes, and Howard Raines illustrated a beautiful banner 
And it was a really, really big special deal for me and for a lot of people in Southern California who grew up with uh, playing old time music um, with the uh, Mel Durham fiddle tunes floating around, therefore Alonzo James. And uh, for the uh, festival last year, members of the family flew out for the stage dedication. And it was probably the most emotional experience for me being connected to this tradition that goes so far back and to actually meet the flesh and blood of this man, Alonzo James, who really had an impact on me because I was playing his tunes, you know, within the first year or two that I started playing this music and just wondered, who is this man? Will we ever know anything about him? And, and thanks to uh, Cindy's sleuthing, we learned a lot about him and uh, we were able to play his music for the family and again bring them out and uh, basically reunite everybody of many generations living and dead through old time music. So it's more than just the notes and it's more than just the bow strokes. So yeah. Mel Durham, Alonzo James, thank you. <laughs> okay, so this is Over the Mountain.
bit more than that. How surreal this is, performing <laughs> at a festival this way. A year ago we played a festival, the, the uh, that Chroma Festival in Colorado. Just what an amazing festival. And Howard and Trisha were there and we joined forces on stage and so fun. this is a little different. This whole distancing program that we're all we're all part of and hopefully staying safe. So here's a Doc Boggs tune. <laughs> All right, we have uh, we have one more tune for you from our King's Lament CD, the CD of old time fiddle duets, available at oldtimetikiparlor.com and every other uh, platform under the sun. Mm. And uh, thank you so much, Old Time Central. What an amazing online festival this has been so far. We had an amazing, hugely attended fiddle workshop today. It was so fun. I wish it could have gone on forever and ever. I just love teaching more than anything in the world, pretty much. Um, and this is a, a tune that, that's on it called Cole Holler from the West Virginia fiddler Andrew Burnside. And uh, for those of you that don't know, for those of you that read those dots and lines <laughs> uh there is actually a book of transcriptions of every single tune on the album the melody the seconding the variations and all of the bowing is transcribed properly <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and, and for having us. All right, how's this go? Mm -hmm. 
first online festival what a great set and a great workshop earlier too thanks for joining thank you thank you appreciate it nice Bye. meeting you nice meeting you <laughs> all right awesome well uh if anybody did miss their workshop earlier i sat in on it and i can vouch that it was an excellent workshop i think that is going to be uh available uh at some point for uh viewing later so make sure and catch that once it's up on our website um and there's still lots of other workshops coming up this weekend so don't miss out here's a little rundown of what we have going on tomorrow uh we have at 10 to 11 30 a.m craig Gutelman is going to be playing fiddle rags and how to play them uh that'll be a great workshop uh 12 to 1 30 uh seth shoemate is going to be doing old time harmonica uh, 2 to 3.30, Howard Rains is doing old-time backup guitar. 4 to 5.30, Jake Blunt is doing old-time, or banjo, the banjo style of Odell Thompson. And 6 to 7.30 p.m., Trisha Spencer, Grandma's Cheats for Old-Time Fiddle. So you can still sign up for any of those classes. Just head to our website, www.oldtime-central.com, and make sure and jump in on some of those. Um, Thank you all so much for joining us tonight for our online performance. You've been listening to The Hoot. This is Old Time Central's online music festival. If you've enjoyed it, please consider uh, making a donation, leaving a tip in our tip jar. All of the donations that you make are uh, completely tax deductible. We are a 501c3 nonprofit, um, and your donations go to making more events like this happen so we can continue to uh, spread the joy of old time music throughout the world. So thank you for tuning in. Uh, you can head over to our website, sign up for our newsletter and stay up to date on all of the events coming up for old time central. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next time. <laughs>